friends, Jay Sennett. Welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jay. Today I'm going to prepare for you these delicious tuna steaks. Um, actually, this was one and it was very, very thick, so I decided to make two of them. I sliced them in half. I'm going to make a pan-seared smoked paprika sesame tuna steak with a pomegranate molasses barbecue sauce, okay? Now, the first thing I did was create this mixture for the sesame seeds. I use tuxedo sesame seeds, which are basically black and white sesame seeds, okay? And in here I have the sesame seeds, I have some smoked paprika, salt and black pepper, garlic and onion powders, um, I also have a little bit of sugar, not so much for the taste, but it helps to get a nice brown char, not char, but a nice brown texture on the, on the outside, a nice crispy texture on the outside of the tuna. And I also have some dry herbs in here, specifically thyme and oregano. Okay, so I have my pan over here heating up. It's going to be a hot pan. Um, you want it almost smoking with some oil. So I'll I pat dry my tuna steaks and get them in this sesame seed mixture. Okay, and get all sides. Of course, when you touch this with your hands, <laughs> where your fingers are, will knock the seeds off in most cases. Okay, see that? And then you get it on both sides. And even the sides of the fish, actually. Okay. All right. So, all right. Again, sesame seed, garlic and onion powder, some smoked paprika, salt and pepper, some a little bit of sugar, some dried herbs, thyme, and oregano. So let's go over here to the stove. And this pan should be hot. Oh yeah. All right. It's pretty hot. I want to sear these, okay, these steaks. Now, okay, so while these are searing, I'm going to put together this pomegranate barbecue sauce. So, I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of pomegranate molasses, okay? Add some soy sauce, a couple of about a tablespoon and a half of some soy sauce. A rot, and some good old ketchup. <laughs> Couple of tablespoons of ketchup. Oh, it's empty. Got some more of this ketchup here. Alright, that's enough of that. And we add some smoked paprika in here, about a teaspoon. I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of honey. I know I'm just zooming through this. I want to turn my tuna sticks over because most people like their tuna close to rare. A couple tablespoons of honey. All right. Now I'm going to add some mustard, about a teaspoon of smooth mustard, not much, okay, some garlic in here as well, I just chopped up one clove of garlic, actually one decent size clove of garlic. Add a pinch of salt, 
to dissolve in the ketchup so you don't need much of that. And my tuna is almost done. Stir this around a little bit to get it kind of hot. Now, even though I use garlic, you could also use garlic powder in this barbecue sauce. See, I'm kind of a fruit nut, so anything with fruit is going to get my attention. Um, wait for my tuna fix. Rinse that off. Da da da. Now, some would say, well, Jay, those tuna sticks are already done. <laughs> well, it could be. It could be. Yep, that's starting to get nice and hot, bubbly. A pomegranate barbecue sauce. I want to taste that. Woo! Oh, yeah. And I'm going to add a little bit more honey, because you know pomegranate, they... Okay, turn my fire off on these steaks here. A little bit more of this honey in here, because it's tangy. There, that should do it. That should do it. Now, last but not least, I'm going to add just a pinch of cayenne pepper. Okay, give it just a, just a pinch of heat. Okay, I'm going to take these tuna sticks out of here now. Let's go back over here. Because I'm going to set them on my cutting board. Because I want to slice the tuna. Because they're covered, I can't see where the grain is, but we'll do it anyway, like this. Okay? Yeah, it's going to be okay. Thin sliced was one tuna stick that I cut in half. Okay, let's cut this piece off. Huh. Mm, 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 Do this. Okay, now what I'm going to do is add some of this over here. Because this pomegranate barbecue sauce. Act as a dipping sauce. Okay. Huh. All right. Get, get that off of there. I'm making it worse. All right. 
So you get the point. Okay. Now, one thing that you can add here, um, let's see if I have any, some nice little bit of some scallions. Move all that over. And didn't need to get it in the barbecue sauce. Okay. All right. That's a my sesame tuna with a pomegranate barbecue sauce that you add that you would used to act as a dipping sauce. <laughs> Excuse my mess over here. <laughs> and I would serve it with some rice. You can have some black rice with this. That's kind of rare if you can find it in the grocery store. It's delicious. Some high nutritional value too in black rice. Um, eat it just like this or you can eat it over a salad. You know, you can put the tuna in a salad with some, some mixed greens. Uh, maybe some avocado, tomatoes. Tomatoes always go well with, with tuna. And, or, you know, just pretty much wherever your imagination can take you. So my pan-seared smoked paprika pep uh, sesame tuna steaks with a pomegranate molasses barbecue sauce. And you saw how I put together these, these two dishes. Fairly easy, quickly, and you can cook the tuna to your liking. A lot, like I said earlier on, a lot of people like their tuna, you know, close to rare. When you open it up, there's a lot of pink. And I like mine a little bit more cooked than that. <laughs> okay, so, but that's my preference, and you can cook it the way you like it to. So, that's, and it's an interesting dish. I mean, it really is. It's a, it's a very tasty, um, somewhat complex layer of flavor profiles in this with the sesame seeds, the smoked paprika, the onion, garlic powder, uh, the dry herbs, thyme and oregano, salt and pepper, um, and the, with the pomegranate molasses barbecue sauce with ketchup, pomegranate molasses, uh, some honey. Oh, there's some sugar in that sesame mixture, sesame seed mixture as well. And the sauce with the honey, some mustard, a little bit of mustard, um, Smoked paprika I put in there, a uh, pinch of cayenne pepper, just, just add a little bit of heat to it. And you have yourself a tasty barbecue sauce, a very unique uh, barbecue sauce. So that's this edition of Cooking with Jay. I'm Jay Sennett. Thank you for watching Cooking with Jay. I think most of you know how it airs starting at 6 p.m. on Sunday evenings at the WHO Public Media Facebook page. You can see archive editions of the program at the WHO Public Media YouTube channel. And uh, we've gone over a hundred episodes of Cooking with Jay. I've done a lot of cooking on this show. And of course, many of you know about my jazz show, Senate in Session, Monday through Thursday nights from 9 until 1, Saturday mornings 1 until 5, Sunday afternoons from 1 until 5 on WHRV FM 89.5. And my other show, The r &B Chronicles on Friday nights from 7 until 8. I'm going to go chomp on my tuna. Hope you have a good day. And thanks for watching Cooking with Jay. And we'll see you again soon with another edition of Cooking with Jay. Be safe, friends. Take care.